a lot of people misperceive resiliency. Many people think you're either born with it in your genes or you're out of luck. Studies have shown resiliency can be built and strengthened with practice. And that's what I'm gonna encourage you to do today. Just take five minutes every day and practice one of these resiliency skills. So as part of the National Academy of Medicine's work, our team just, just released and published a rigorous systematic review that we conducted over the past 18 months on interventions that were most effective in improving mental health, well-being, physical health, and healthy lifestyle behaviors in physicians and nurses. This is what we found. Mindfulness works. It's an effective strategy, particularly for stress and anxiety. Gratitude works. This is a gratitude board that I would suggest putting up on your clinical units or at home. So when you walk in, write down two or three things that you are grateful for. This is a board that was developed by one of our units here at Ohio State. And people talked about the difference it made every day when they walked in to take care of patients. Cognitive behavior therapy or skills building works. And I'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. Lastly, taking just five big deep breaths, five times a day, using the 478 method works to decrease stress, anxiety, and decreases blood pressure. Take four seconds to take a deep breath in, hold it for seven, then blow out counting to eight. Again, What's really easy to do is when you're washing your hands for 20 seconds, use that time as a recovery break to practice two big deep breaths using the 478 method or to practice mindfulness. If you can take these short recovery periods during the day and practice these simple tips, your mood is definitely going to be better. Well, for the last 25 years of my career, I have developed and tested cognitive behavioral skills building interventions for children, teens, and clinicians. Most recently, we developed an eight weekly session program. We tested it with new nurse residents. And what we learned is just teaching them cognitive behavior, therapy-based skills, and this program is manualized, so it can be easily done in short 30 to 40 minute sessions with groups of nurses. But teaching them these skills resulted in decreases in depression, stress and anxiety, and improvements in job satisfaction. In CBT, we teach people the thinking, 
feeling and behaving triangle. That is how we think affects how we feel and how we behave. So I'm going to ask you, monitor your moods throughout the day. When you sense your mood is changing, you're getting angry, stressed, depressed, or anxious, I want you to say to yourself, what was just going through my mind? Is that thought really true? Is this thinking helpful? And do I have evidence to back it up? In all probability, I can tell you, it's probably not true and it's not helping you. So when you catch yourself having a negative thought, turn it around to a positive and watch your stress, your anxiety, your depression improve. We need to program our brains every day with positive thinking. Our brains are like a computer, positive in, positive will come out. We have to remember the majority of causes of depression, stress, and anxiety are negative patterns of thinking. So if we can change our thinking, we can feel better and change our lives. One quick strategy to help with positive thinking is to get up every morning and before we go to bed at night, say 10 positive self statements. Whether it's I'm going to stay calm, I am healthy and strong, even if you don't believe them when you first say them, your brain will be processing those positive statements. And as a result, you're going to feel much better. The other habit I've created for the past 20 years is reading just five minutes in a positive thinking book every morning and every night. Try it just for 30 to 60 days. Give this strategy a try. You will be amazed at how much better that you feel. Mindfulness, as I talked about, works. So if you're starting to worry, I encourage you, take a moment, turn your head to the left, and then slowly turn it to the right, saying to yourself, what am I seeing, feeling, hearing, and sensing right now? Bring yourself back to the present moment. Currently, there are some wonderful free apps, such as Headspace is making their app available for clinicians through December. Try this app. Try just a moment of mindfulness a few times a day. As I mentioned before, gratitude has such great evidence behind it. Waking up in the morning, saying two or three people are things you're grateful for. Research has shown daily gratitude practices increase optimism, improve sleep, and decrease diastolic blood pressure. But just like behaviors take 30 to 60 days to change a consistent practice, so does positive thinking. Again, practice some of these techniques just a few minutes in the morning and at night and see the difference that it makes. 
Well, one out of two people in America have a chronic disease. But what's sad about that is 80% of chronic disease is totally preventable with just a few healthy lifestyle behaviors, such as physical activity, 30 minutes, five days a week, healthy eating, just five fruits and veggies a day. Don't smoke, and if you don't drink alcohol right now, don't start. But if you do, I encourage you, follow the CDC's evidence-based recommendation of no more than one drink a day for women, two days, two drinks a day for men. Everybody then asks me, how big can that drink be? But I tell everyone, not the size of the alcoholic beverages we get in Vegas. Put seven hours of sleep on top of those four behaviors and regularly engage in stress reduction and your risk of chronic disease is going to drop even further. Practicing these healthy behaviors now in lieu of this pandemic is so critical to keep our immune systems functioning at their peak. Lastly, stay hopeful. There are silver linings to this pandemic. This is a photo of my two character building pugs. They see the silver lining to the pandemic being at home with us while we're working. But remember, rainbows follow rain. There are going to be lots of silver linings. Thank you.